There exist a lot of websites which provide a kind of a demo of their service and then they ask you to choose one of their pricing plans to use that service freely. In this video, we are gonna check one of such websites and try to discover and explore the hidden APIs that they are using for the demo purpose so that we can avail their service directly through our Python programs for free. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so just for the demo purpose, in this video, we are going to take the example of a website called naturalreaders.com. So Natural Reader is a website which provides you some text to speech service. So you can just click on go to online reader and then you will get some web app like thing where you can just type anything like let's say hello world and then you can click on play button and then you will hear some audio. Hello world. So as we saw that we just wrote something and we got its audio. So this is a text to speech engine. And now let's say you want to download the MP3 um, file of this audio. So look at that. You have, you'll have to upgrade to use this feature. And that is actually like a pricing plan that you will have to choose. So you'll have to pay some money and all, but I don't feel like doing that. So what you can do here is that as we can see that when you just type anything and you just try to run it, you are Hello. getting the output, right? So if you're getting the output, then why not, if you are able to get that output, then why not save that output yourself instead of clicking on getting the MP3 here or converting to MP3 here. So what I'm saying that I'll try to find out the particular API that they're using for generating this audio and I will use that API directly in my Python program and then I will save the response which will be some audio object and then I will save it some into some MP3 file. So it will be doing the same thing which I'm trying to do here. So that is what is going to be the goal of this video. So let's try it out. So first of all, I will have to explore the API. I will have to discover the API. And for doing that, the best thing is to use the inspector. So for opening the inspector, you can just right click and click on inspect, or you can directly use the um, shortcut, which is control shift I for Chrome. So now this is a web inspector which will help you to inspect different aspects of this particular web page and now I am directly going to network tab where I can see all the network activity which is happening so I will just remove the clutter by clicking on clear button and now let me just do something let me just write something like hello world so this is something that I have written here and now I'm clicking going to click on play so let's see what API is getting called or what, what which API is getting triggered when I'm just clicking on play Okay, so here is the API which is getting Hello triggered. World. Right, so here is that API which is getting triggered, I think. So, it is. And if we just try to see the preview, yeah, so this looks like some audio data. So this audio data will be, is, is getting played when we click on this play button. And this API is being called to fetch that data. So now the request URL is something like this that um, they are using some Amazon web service for hosting their complete website it seems and then they pass something called R S V so these R S V I think are the voice the speed and anything like that so these are several parameters that they can you can use to change the voice and then you are passing T equal to hello world the text that you want to be um, converted to audio and other than that, let's take a look at the request headers. Nothing special in the request headers. These are your query string parameters. And since this is a post request, they are also passing some form data here. In the form data, what they're passing is, um, it is actually a string, as you can see. If it had been a dictionary, it would have looked a bit different. So it is like a dictionary inside a string in which they have put a key T whose value is equal to your original text. So this is the complete thing that we are able to understand by looking at this API. And now let us try it out in Python programming language. So I'm just going to copy it as curl. So curl is a command line program for sending HTTP or any different kind of requests through simple command line programs. So this is a curl format request that I've just copied. And now curl.trill works is a website on which you can just convert any curl command to Python request format. So I will just copy that. 
So if you do not know about these all with all these features, then I've discussed them in the first video of my discovering the hidden API series. So you can check that out. So here it is. I have got the request library imported. So let me just keep it up like this. And then I have some headers in which I'm passing referrer, origin, user agent, content type. I don't think they're going to be that important. Then I have parameters R, S, L, V, T. So S seems to be like speed. L seems to be the particular language. V seems to be the voice maybe. So we can just check that out by just trying different, different options that they have provided her. Like you just select English US Amanda. And now you can just click on. So first of all, remove the clutter and now you can just click on the play button. So a TTS request is made again and this time, this time V is equal to Mac and previously V was equal to ACA. So that's why uh, if you change the voice, particular voice, then you will have to use the V parameter that you have here. So in this way, you can just tweak all the parameters. You can check out what are the parameters that they're using. So now parameters is this, data is this and it's time that we tried try out this particular API. So let me just remove all this and let's run it. Okay, so I removed the headers dictionary. So let me remove it from here as well. Okay, so we got the response. So let us check out the response dot text maybe. Okay, so response dot text is some kind of binary data you can say. It's some data which is encoded and it is most probably the data in um, mp3 format. So I will have to save this particular file or the data that I'm get getting as an mp3 file. So for doing that, all you have to do is you will have to do with open in which you can just pass, let's say a.mp3 is the name of my file. And I will have to open that file in write binary mode because I have to write binary data as f. So I'm just referring to this particular file as f, f.write r dot content uh, response dot content and yeah that's it so let's try it out let's see so this is the a dot mp3 file that we have let me run it hello world okay so hello we got it world. hello world so yeah it's working and let me just try some other text here so let me just put okay so now there's a kind of a confusion you are passing t equal to something here and here as well so if I want to get some other text, so let me put that at both at different places. So let me put it like, how are you? And maybe just put how are you here as well? How are you? Okay. So this is what we have. And now let me run it again. So we are waiting for the response. We got the response. So now saving the file and let's check it out. How are you? How are you? Well, that's a bit How creepy, you? creepy voice, but still that's fine. So we are able to use their service without paying them any money. We are able to generate our MP3 files. Now we can use this particular service to do any kind of thing. We can just convert any given PDF into speech by using this particular API, right? So it was quite easy as you, as you saw. So actually there is no point of this MP3 button and then saying that please upgrade to this feature here for the programmers. So yeah, so that was all about this video. If you liked it, um, if you found it useful, then please like and share this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you still have any doubts, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.